All right, so for my math lab number two, it starts with all imports are subject to a surcharge. So I have to have a circle with imports in here. So I'll put an I for that. And all of those are subject to a surcharge. So I'll use S for surcharge. So all the imports will get a surcharge. And then we've got a necklace. This necklace, which I will use a dot and the letter N to represent, is an import. So the only place that that can go is inside the red circle because that's where all the imports are. All right, so here is my diagram. So I now I'm going to look at their conclusion which says this necklace is subject to a surcharge that is valid because all imports are subject to a surcharge and the necklace is an import so this one is valid there you go so let's do number four this one says all grains are uh, are healthful all grains so it's a circle i'll label it g for grains and all of the grains should be inside a total note their circle which is where all the healthful stuff is so i'll use h for healthful then it tells me that water is healthful. So water is healthful means that, and I'll use a dot and a W to represent water. I just have to make sure that the W goes inside the purple circle, but there's actually two places. It could go here, but it could also go there. I don't know that for sure. I don't know which way it's going to go. So when they make the conclusion that the water is, is a grain, they're talking about this right here, but you've also got this possibility. And this possibility right here is enough to make it invalid. So that is number two and four.